in my project file, I ended up, I didn't use the standard surface for this. I ended up using the uh, regular RS material. So I might just try and rebuild this shader real quick and see if I can get the, a better translucency look out of this. So I'm just gonna stop the render and go back to the map context, go and find my cloth. And I'm gonna just uh, alt drag the cloth to the right to create a copy of it. And I'm gonna just call this cloth, uh, like, um, what is this, the RS, like old RS material. And I'm gonna jump inside here and instead of using the standard material, I'm gonna throw down the RS material, the regular RS material. And we will wire in uh, this bump map, we'll just reuse this bump map, wire it into the overall bump input and wire this one into the output surface. So I'm just gonna delete this old standard material and for our actual material, I'm gonna change the color to, you know, another one of these uh, orangish colors like so. And then I'm gonna turn on the backlighting and translucency and just kind of select another reddish color and increase the weight to something near 0.5 and see what uh, what that gets us. I do I know I do need to bring the reflection weight down and the roughness up. So let's bring the reflection weight to about 0.5, the roughness to about 0.5. And I'm not going to do anything else with any, you know, uh, you know, refraction or anything like that. Um, I just need to assign this old cloth RS material. So let's go to the cloth render and from the pick I'm going to select cloth old RS material and hit accept. And I'm just going to save this one to the gallery down here by hitting this little plus icon. And let's just render this again. Still feeling a bit too red yet. Um, let's go and change the diffuse color. Let's, let's, uh, let's make it a little bit more orange. Yeah, somewhere in the 0.18 range. And I'm gonna back off the key light a little bit. Something is still totally off with this uh, render here. And I think that I just looked and I'm seeing that the color space I'm using on the normal map is sRGB. I don't want that. I want it to be raw. So if I change that to raw and there, now my the lighting seems way more reasonable for this. I'm starting to get those like wrinkles and all that stuff. That gets me all the time. Not having raw set for my normal maps, it causes everything to look like it's inside out or something like that. Just for the sake of, uh, just out of curiosity, I'm going to, uh, this is what our kind of our old standard material looked like. And this is what the, what the material looked like when we switched back to the old RS material. I'm going to just bank this one in our snapshots down here and go back and reassign the other cloth material. So I just want to see uh, if, if I can get that other standard material looking close. So here from the pick menu, I'm going to choose cloth again um, and hit accept. And then in here, I'm going to tap uh, the cloth and then hit I to jump inside here, select my texture sampler and turn that back to raw on the uh, normal map. And let's render this again to see if our uh, standard material is looking anything like this other uh, old redshift material. And it's looking pretty close, but I still think that I like the translucent uh, look that I'm getting out of this old RS material. So, and, and that's what I'd ended up using in my project anyways. So I'm just gonna switch this back to the old RS material and we can just kind of move on from here. Um, with uh, with this sort of look for the airbags.